Well, hello, hello, peeps. Here we got a full soul shuffle match on the nerfed retribution. Yes, actually nerfed. No jokes. This is the game I hit 2400 on. Um, on the nerfed retribution paladin, of course. Nerfed. As usual, we'll go over the good, the bad, and the ugly, and how to traverse it while we enjoy some nerfed red PvP action. Now, why am I saying nerfed? Well, yeah, the retribution has gotten nerfed, but the nerfs are. I would say very very slight and red steel is an absolute beast that's why you're still seeing uh, retribution in uh, pvp a lot uh, i saw some people were like talking about how the nerfs are still not yet in but like uh, from what you can see like um, if you go on to a target dummy justicar's uh, vengeance does not do uh, does not do 25% uh, more damage to stun target does 15% like the nerfs say so the nerfs are in i would say or there should be in. Uh, so, uh, here we're just gonna try and uh, focus uh, whoever we can. Uh, I went for the BM first. Um, of course, it's better to focus BM uh, less cooldowns. Let's just stun the healer here, going for some uh, nice burst. We get Turtle. Of course, better to go for him. And then Retribution. Retribution is really tanky right now. Uh, I'm using the Execution Sentence build here. Um, I actually was using it accidentally, I was not originally planning to, to use it, but then I just went with the flow, how would you say, I just was like, fuck it, send it, you know? Uh, we are kind of swapping onto the red just because we can hit him, right? We can't hit the BM there, we couldn't hit BM really there, so I had to do a little swap. I think we're gonna pop bubble here. Or at least get some cooldowns going. Here I'm getting some nice pressure going on me, so I'm gonna start kiting away. So it doesn't get the pettiest ever, uh, what you wanna call it, uh, execution sentence. He's also, this uh, enemy retribution is also running execution sentence. Here my priest saves me, because I previously used lay on hands to try and save myself, which was honestly not the best choice. I kinda waste my stun there, I sh shouldn't have used it, it was kind of a, just to do some pressure. If I use the stun now on the healer, it's pretty much GG. Game over. I have a nice execution sentence going, but he's kiting me. I'm actually not following him, I'm just scared, I guess. And we're gonna get him here. <laughs> a nice little crusading strike for the win. So definitely a few things I could have done better there. Shouldn't have been... Uh, shouldn't have been tossing out my panic stuns like that and stuff. Also, the priest is angry here at me for not sank sanking him, which is also true. I did not use Sanctuary once, but... The priest also needs to understand that we DPS players are in 40-minute queues. Unlike him who just played five soul shuffles in a row, right, for the last 40, 40 minutes. Here I just back off because the healer got CC'd, right? Smart move, you don't, don't you know, go in and derp. You didn't have to waste anything, right? We go for the Warlock, although the better choice would have been BM. Because as you're gonna see, the warlock is probably just gonna teleport back into the into their little hole, right? So yeah, he does that. So we are gonna swap to BM here, because he's right in the open, right? He's uh, in a dangerous position for himself. He's separated from his teammates. Uh, I'm getting pumped here. I'd pop a bubble, but um, unfortunately, overlays with the swap with my healer. I get to finally sank my healer there. <laughs> finally, good job, me. Pumping, pumping, pumping uh, the... Um, pumping the Hunter. About using Execution Sentence so we have the Intermediate Burst window. That's basically the best, the benefit of using Execution Sentence than um, compared to using um, Final Reckoning. Final Reckoning is your kind of one punch, one, uh, you know, one hit KO. While Execution Sentence is more about throughput and it has like the secondary... It has the secondary uh, burst window in the 30 second burst window. So you get two burst windows with uh, when you're running as execution sentence, which is I think really good. Here you get a nice stun while he's still uh, almost dead. We don't get to connect back. Actually, we do get to connect and we finish him off. Look to me like we are not going to connect there. Here the shaman was looking, wanting to get the leader because he, uh, the, the hunter, I guess, was running out of his urgent totem. Just to make sure that he stays in the urgent totem, which he should, of course. 
Well, we're gonna go for lock, I think, here. But depending if Retribution is chasing, since he is the melee, we will have to focus him. Since um, yeah, Hunter is going to CC the healer here, I'm just gonna drop my CC. The world goes back, so I go into the Retribution. I fuck up my combo a little bit there. Doesn't matter since I'm still pumping him with some nice damage. He starts backing off. Nice, nice. We, I think we kind of won that exchange a little bit. I mean, as far as pressure goes. Here, they're still focusing my dude. I get my healer out of the tank. That's nice. Pretty much always want to try and use uh, Sanctuary whenever we can. It's like the most important. The biggest thing, I think, are Retribution Piloting. One of the biggest things they can do is not just the one-shot, but the fact that a lot of the um, CCs are not, um, how do you say, ineffective against your healer if, if the Paladin is also not cc So if you don't have cross CC on all three targets, right, the Paladin can get the healer out of CC always. So ultimately, we're kind of pumping the Retribution. I think here I am looking at what uh, the BM, I think if I remember correctly, I'm going to be thinking about what the BM is attacking and we're going to be swapping onto the Warlock. Yeah, here I'm realizing he's attacking the Warlock, so I just decided to go for the Warlock. The Warlock is in the open, but... Uh, yeah, the Warlock can do that as well. Fortunately, the Warlock did that kind of instantly. So I get to kind of pump him still. Stun on the healer, but... Attribution for unfortunately bops him, so I'm gonna pop uh, some not, some damage onto him, and I think we're gonna get him here. No, 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 we don't. Uh, we are gonna yeah, we're gonna do a swap onto the holy, not holy, sorry, discipline priest. I kick the penance. Uh, I'm gonna have an execution sentence coming up. Oh, my freedom, I stun. Let's go. He's probably gonna dead here. After the execution sentence hits, boom. <coughs> yep. And down he goes. I'm pretty happy to kill that priest there. He's been angry at me for not using my one spell for one game because I didn't, didn't play for 40 minutes while he was, you know, spam queuing. Shaman talking about how uh, <laughs> people don't stand in his totems. Here again, it's, uh, we're probably gonna be going for whoever we can. Honestly, whoever we can. BM is easier. BM is, I think, overall easier. Less tanky and less... How would you say? It has the same running options, I'd say. I fuck up here and I use my execution sentence actually on the Warlock. But I do swap onto the... Here, the, the Retribution is also like not focused with me, but... The good part is we are playing versus a Disco Priest, so we are actually able to make the Disco Priest kind of start falling back in his healing. Because that's the thing about with Disco Priest, they're not as good with like... Uh, when there's like rotting damage overall and stuff. That's why here I'm jumping on him, onto the Disco, so I'm doing some extra pressure. I don't know what... I can't even see from all these like... stuff, I can't even see where the other retribution is, dude. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's chasing the BM. I just bubble here to just keep keep on the aggro. We don't get him, but he's uh, pumping. He got the uh, BM kind of low, so I'm gonna swap. Here I'm sacrificing him uh, really good because he's getting focused. Uh, he, had, uh, he was not doing this, but like even if you're like in a double retribution comp, you should just sacrifice the other retribution if they're the target. And I'm not the target here, so... We pump him. We're gonna get him through Korea. PS here. We just got a lot of burst, CC, and everything going. This shaman was also great. He's been he was kicking the entire time. He was just camped constantly kicking. This is the second to last match, and uh, we're gonna have a nice little combo into the hunter. Uh, we're just gonna go BM. I mean, this BM is uh, I think the weak link of this lobby in general. He just seems to take a lot of damage. I mean, it's also a small map. Kind of hard for a hunter, I'd say. This is one of those maps that can be really difficult for um, range classes. Here I'm just standing there in the earth and while the damage is going from them. Uh, then I'm gonna jump into him, start bursting. Is my combo actually really good there? Here I think I'm gonna be looking for a stun onto the healer. 
Yep, instantly boom. I think I got a yeah, I got a nice divine arbiter prop. And we just finished the BM off. Here in the last round, I'm a little bit, I must say, a little bit, how do you say, distracted. I already know that I got 2400 from that game, because I needed like 50 points more, and I just got a 5-1, uh, you know, 5 wins, sorry, but like, yeah, kind of blew it there, I told you what's gonna happen, but you know, I got a 5, you know, so I was happy about myself, so here I'm a little bit too relaxed, I'm also with the BM, and the BM is just gonna be taking way too much damage here. I'll do, I think, a very good job at trying to save him. This, string, this uh, stun was troll, uh, to some degree. Actually, it wasn't. He trinketed it. Sorry, I thought it all got dispelled. He trinketed it. It was not troll. It was perfect. But we actually end up bursting the... Um, bursting the red tree because he is uh, out of position and the warlock teleport went back. Here I should be getting out of earth and I don't know why I was sitting, sitting there and hitting the red tree still. Here I'm gonna probably be trying to save my guy yeah do a um, blessing protection first i'm going back to the retribution we know i'm um, the reason now that i want to go for retribution is because retribution doesn't have bubble anymore so it would be an overall better uh, easier to kill target i would say here i do sacrifice this priest also swaps the bm right the M bm is still dying at an incredible pace just pumping, doing my best here. I was just like sitting out the full route because I had nothing to do. I, can, I mean, I couldn't remove it in any way. Here I stun. I tried to do a chain CC, but unfortunately the BM is going to die. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. All those things the YouTuber wants you to do. And have a nice day.